How did you find out that she was on the missing list? It was the disappearance that shook the world. Where is Ginger? She's ill at the moment. The real reason Ginger Spice turned her back on the Spice Girls finally revealed. Jerry and Mel B had a very fiery relationship. When I first met Mel B, I thought, what a beautiful girl. Me and Jerry alone together. Craziness. Did you sleep with Jerry? Jerry Halliwell denies rumours of her and Mel B's relationship. Spice Girls have become a monster that was spinning out of control. I think it's stronger than just the four of us. That says absolutely everything. Oh, she knows what she's doing. You don't need me, well, f you. It went from fun to nasty overnight. Reports emerge of life-threatening secret Jerry hid after leaving the Spice Girls. We all use different tools to get by. It's bloody dangerous. I'm just not the most important person in anybody's life anymore. She left the bit. It must have been very hard to see this continuing success story going on. Jerry said it's all over. I just completely emotionally shut down. So painful. <laughs> she went into shock. We searched for her in the hotel and we couldn't find her. I she was just gone. Did you think she'd been abducted? Well, kidnapped. And the other room was full of lawyers and stuff. And no one knew what was going on. No one thought Jerry would abandon the band. She put everything into it. Picked the name Spice Girls. Wish I could say it was me. I think it was Jerry. Jerry being super ambitious. She really drove the project. It's all about females coming together. We can do it and doing it for the other girls out there. Jerry bonded with all the Spice Girls, but one relationship was especially intense. With me and Jerry, once you put us together, there was no stopping. Me and Jerry alone together, craziness. Amazing feeling to have somebody that was as brave as you. If I jumped off, she'd jump with me. I can't imagine life without us. Do you like my new family? But no one knew Jerry was hiding a painful secret about her own family. I got called out of class and I got a message, you've got to go straight home. My brother was waiting for me and told me that he found his body. A father who'd always encouraged her to follow her dreams had suffered a sudden and fatal heart attack. Jerry always had a kindred spirit in her father. He'd managed to fan the fires of her showbiz dreams. I'm absolutely gutted that I don't have a father in my life. I had this horrible horror. Eventually you will be alone. Jerry didn't know how to handle her grief, so she scrambled for control. And I was really struggling with an eating disorder. When my father died, it really kicked it off. We all use different tools to get by, coping mechanisms. And for me, mine was controlling my body weight. I was very, very controlling. It was so painful. And so I just turned all that pain into that, like, right, I'm gonna make it. But at the height of their fame, the other girls started to push back. I was almost militant with the girls. Basically, I think that every group does need a bit of an organizer. I wouldn't say I'm bossy, more of an organizer. I remember being really shouted at by Jerry quite a few times. Sometimes she would think everything she said and did was how it should be. And of course, that's not true. As time went on, Jerry's power was taken away from her. It was diminishing. Other people were coming through the ranks within the band. I remember knowing in my heart, you know, I was gonna leave. I just got empty and I'd given them everything I could. The band had got so big and the girls, they didn't need me anymore. And you know, like the wheels were turning whether I was there or not, it felt. Yesterday, I left the Spice Girls. And worst of all, Jerry's relationship with Mel B fell apart. You were great friends and you said it really oh, hurt yeah. you. And what bothered me was that she didn't feel like she could talk to me. Yeah. So I was, a, I'm considered her as my best friend. It was really, really upsetting for me. Melanie and, and, and Jerry have a relationship with each other. It was deeper than a lot of people think. Did you sleep with Jerry like that? <laughs> yes, really. I really did cry. It's sad. Jerry, you're going to the wedding. Oh, he's ready. <laughs> I haven't been invited. I read in a Sunday Times paper in this interview, and it said, Melanie B, quote, oh, we're really, we're stronger than ever since Jerry's left. We don't need her anymore. And to be honest, that says absolutely everything. Like, right, you don't need me, well, F you, I'm going to do it for myself. You actually... Wanting to prove Mel B wrong, Jerry became obsessed with controlling her own success. Jerry's spice success carried over into her solo career. You sold 12 million records as a solo artist. 
for me to go into a studio by myself was very daunting. The pressure of being a solo artist when you don't have a team of people around you, it can be a lonely place. But all alone, Jerry's grief over her dad overwhelmed her. And it wasn't until I left the band, that's when I started to really feel how much I... I missed him. I was incredibly lonely. I stopped eating. It was a way of not engaging. I just completely emotionally shut down. It's bloody dangerous. Jerry's addiction to control was destroying her. Somebody told me to go to a 12-step program. Did it work? Yeah, it saved my life. When I started getting help, oh my God, it was just... It takes so much. I admire anybody that reaches out and says, I can't do this alone. When I was in the Spice Girls, I always, when we'd enter a room together, you feel a little bit more confident when you're in a pack. That sort of female support, that understanding, that connection that I will only ever get from them. I didn't realise how much they were part of my life. That was the defining moment. No longer blinded by her need for control, Jerry could finally see what she'd been missing. When did you first see Mel Vegan? I drove up to her house and just talked it through. I wanted to go around and say, I'm sorry for my... Who said, did you forgive her? Actually, it made us closer right. because we got to understand each other more and we got to have a, a proper conversation. We just seal that thing that we have with each other, which is really special. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful <laughs> that we can we still, still love, love each, each other? other. Right. Spice Girls are reuniting, heading out on tour. This is the greatest entertainment news story of all time. This reunion was about reconciliation. It should be the reconciliation tour. It was a huge you, moment in my life yeah, when they came out. Yeah. It was girl power and it was a really important period of my life. They taught me about girl power mm. and I Love them. By letting go of control, Jerry found true success standing with Mel B and the rest of the Spice Girls. It's those Spice Girls! To be back here, thank you, we've come home. I think you'd be very proud of me. Thank you. In life, you know, we can all take things for granted. We can lose touch with what's important. It feels so much stronger and, and, and more empowering when you're together.